Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Gel Creative team, and I'm so excited to show you some simple stamping ideas today using the Take to the Sky Designer Series paper. I have loved this paper. It's brand new and it features some of my favorite colors. It's full of neutrals and it's got kind of an aviation theme. One thing I love about our Designer Series paper with Stampin' Up! is that it's double-sided. So here are all 12 sheets that you get in the paper pack, but you'll notice you get two of six sheets. So you can use whichever side you want of the paper and the options are just endless. I really wanted to feature this particular piece of the Designer Series paper. Stampin' Up! has pre-printed one of the sheets to be like a one-sheet wonder, which if you're not familiar with what a one-sheet wonder is, it's just an easy way to get a bunch of cards out of one sheet of 12 by 12 pattern paper. So I want to show you how to cut up this paper and then how to use it in some fun projects. I'll bring in my Stampin' Trimmer here and just we're going to cut up this paper so that it we're not wasting anything. We're going to cut off the tags at the bottom first and that's four inches there. You can kind of see on your trimmer if you line it up with the cut spot you'll see that but if I just line it up with four inches that also worked great. I'll just give that a little slice. Next we'll cut the next layer which again is about four inches. I'll give that a little slice. And then you've got your tags, your little cards there, and then some bigger ones here. And then we'll just individually trim them up. For my tags, this is kind of the way I like to do it. They're each two inches. So bring it into the two inch mark, cut it, and then you'll just use your snips just to trim off these little extra layovers here. Super simple, just like that. Then you'll have uh, six different tags to use and a bunch of little paper pieces. I've created a bunch of different projects using this designer series paper piece. Here's one, I wanna show you the project before I show you how to do it so you have a visual. I loved using these with the note cards and envelopes that we offer. They were kind of the perfect size for them and for some of these smaller pieces, but I wanted to take up a little more space and I thought this background image was cute with the um, seam there, but I wanted to cut it up into the different pieces. So let me show you how I did that. I'm gonna take this piece of the designer series paper and trim off that image here. And then I'm gonna trim it. I want my biggest piece on the top. So I'm gonna cut that at one and three quarters. And I know it feels scary to cut your designer series paper, but stay with me. It'll be cute, I promise. And then my next cut's gonna be at one and a quarter. And that will leave my bottom piece here at one. So they're a little stair step, big to smaller. Let me scooch that out of the way and lay these here and then I'll show you I'm gonna just bring in my note card here. Use my bone folder and just give that a good score on that score line. And I've got my sheets here. I'm just gonna adhere this with some green glue. So you'll notice that this, this little piece of designer series paper is smaller than my note card by about half an inch. So I'm gonna spread this out so it looks really even. Let me give you a couple tips on how to do that. I'm gonna start with my green glue, just put a little, goes a long way but I'm gonna do my top piece first. And the reason I love to use this green glue is that I can kind of move my pieces to where I want them before they stay forever. Makes it really easy when you're kind of beginning and you're not a very straight stamper like I am. So I'll put my top piece on first, then I'm gonna leave them in order so I can take my bottom piece and put that on the bottom. And I'm gonna just make sure I'm leaving about the same amount around the edges as is at the bottom and the top. That's kind of, and you're just gonna eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of fun. And then we've got our last little piece of the puzzle here. Just put that on and I'm gonna make sure it's just equal distances between the other two pieces. So there you get an idea of that photo and the cute little scene that was in it but it takes up a little more space on that card. 
So we've got that. Now I'm going to bring in just a stamp from that Adventurous Sky stamp set and my Knight of Navy stamp pad. I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday. I'll just make a really simple little Happy Birthday card. There we go. Got some little backing and some ribbon here. I'm going to put my ribbon on first. So I want to cut this pretty straight because it's going to be right to the edge of my card. So I'm just going to trim that really straight on the edge. And I'm going to just use a couple glue dots. I'm going to take three and I'm going to rip them off. And then I like to put them directly onto my ribbon here so that they're going to stick really, really well on that designer series paper. I'm going to push them right onto that wax paper. So then when I pull it up, it will come off just right onto my ribbon. And then it just stays put where I want it. It's really sticky. These mini glue dots are almost like a little piece of like a glue gun, like a dried little glue gun dot here. So I'm going to put that down just right to the edge of my card, just like that. Okay. I'm going to trim that again just because I want it real straight. There we go. And I'm going to trim. Actually, let me put this on first so I know that we're all set. I'm going to put a little dab of glue here. Just going to pick up my sentiment here with my take your pick tool so I can get it really straight on there. When these are so little, my big fingers don't love to hold it straight. Then I'm going to add some dimensionals on the back of my happy birthday because I want it to pop a little bit off the page here. Let's do three. And then we'll just stick it right above that little piece of ribbon. And then let's trim our ribbon here. So the glue dots are going to hold it really in place, but it kind of looks just like a little extra layer. I want it to look a little beat up because that picture is a little vintage. I wanted the ribbon to match. So I'm just going to take my fingernail and just kind of shred that ribbon. This um, basic beige ribbon is really easy to do that with. It's kind of a fun little contrast. I liked using the adhesive back texture dots here just to add a little bit of extra interest. So I'll add a few of those here just to finish it off, just like that. So quick and so easy. Make some really fun cards. These are great for masculine cards or if you're just trying to make a bunch of cards very quickly. So let me show you some other projects I've made using this one piece of designer series paper. I started with the tags. And I made a bunch of these really fun little tags. I just added some stamped images and some sentiment and a little bit of the designer series paper along with some ribbon. Got that one. Here's happiest father's day. And then this one I think was my favorite to my friend. Really fun. I also took one of the tags and put it right directly onto a note card made it a really cute focal point on the card. I took some of the other pieces here, really simple, just added it to a note card so it's a little bit of the smaller size, added the sentiment. You're the best, plain and simple. Um, that little three by four inch piece for me for the note cards and envelopes were just a little small. So I just cut another piece there in half and then layered it at the bottom. So we got a good contrast and we're able to fill up that space. So fun. Here's another way. I just added some textured, some stamped cardstock to the back of that one to fill up that space because I thought this little plane was so cute. And then here's that final project again. So just using this one piece of designer series paper from the Take to the Sky designer series paper pack, I was able to make multiple cards and tags in a really short amount of time. Simple stamping is one of my favorite things, just using stamps, ink, and paper. And this designer series paper is going to make that even easier for us. If you're interested in any of these products that I've showed you today, you can find the links for them in the description of the video below. And if you like any of these ideas that were shared today, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss anything when we post a new video every week. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week on another Watch Weekly Wednesday.